God help me. Welcome back to the how-to series where I teach you how to play every character in Valorant. And I know that last video I said that making this KJ video was torture, but I'm here to tell you that I was 100% not lying. This character is boring as fuck, but don't worry because I'm here to make her interesting. I hope. So let's begin. Killjoy is a sentinel who excels at setting up all of her util on site only for them to go to the other site, much like Cypher in that sense, but there are a few key differences. For starters, Killjoy's alarm bot and turret are not global like Cypher's, which means you have to be near the site you're defending to allow your util to be actually useful. But unlike Cypher, Killjoy's abilities do some sort of damage, whether it be actual damage like her Molly's or turret or her alarm bot, which makes you deal double damage. So with that, let's get started. The first step is to obviously lock in Killjoy. Sort of everything. Well, can't say I've ever seen someone get upset to have Killjoy taken away from them in an unrated game, but oh well, let's move on. So, after taking out the flank, we can set up our alarm bot behind us to deal with the second flank, which eventually will happen. And now that I have that intel because of the alarm bot, this is easily round secure. A sheriff clip this early in the video? Man, this shit got me feeling like Daniel Jones, the greatest quarterback of all time, and Malik Neighbors. And in this case, I'd be Malik Neighbors, and Danny Dimes was the other team, because they are serving themselves up here on a platter. Just watch this catch. This is basically how the round went. But unfortunately for us, still is the Giants. Okay, I'm gonna show you the perfect setup. Turn in this corner, alarm bot over here to catch people that get way too far into sight. And finally, after all these utilities are placed, we can put a molly down just to make sure that it pushes people towards the middle. And now all we gotta do is wait for the round to start. And they're, they're gonna go beyond, honestly. Fuck! Well, that's just Life of a Killjoy, man. Now it's time to introduce you to the fake Flash. You might be asking yourself, does Killjoy even have a Flash? No. No, she doesn't. But you have to remember that the people you're playing against barely have the average intelligence of a fifth grader. So you can make them think it's a Flash by underhand throwing it and swinging. Just look at this idiot who's definitely not distracted by the Razel and was definitely tricked by my genius. Now we can molly ourselves by accident before being pulled into a domain expansion. Now watch this disrespect. Jump swing through the shield to break his shield before strafing to get a kill. Like, I don't even, I, I just feel bad for him. Right? Now that we've killed him, we can use our ult to take sight, which you wind up doing with pretty much no problem. Then all we gotta do is basically run like a headless chicken through sight without any sort of a plan, because that's all you really need to do to win this game, especially when you have a gecko who actually can't kill someone with their knife out. So let's try the fake flash one more time. Now it's time to show you the best setup on split. There's no chance they survive when they push this. It's basically a free ace. Am I right? Look at all these setups. There's literally no way they can get through sight. They're gonna go B again. Well, that's it. No, I'm just kidding. As much as I want to end this video, I won't. I'll continue to make sure I teach you guys all the best strategies. Well, since Kildra's kid is boring as fuck, we have our teammate, who obviously watched the How To Sky video, blind A main for us, were able to pick up two kills before choking what easily could have been four to five if we didn't suck. All right, now it's time for me to show you how to perfectly use Killjoy's ult. If you didn't know, Killjoy's ult will take 13 seconds to charge, and once it does, all players in that area will then be detained. Now, one way to avoid this ult is if you're playing Omen and you also have ult, you can press it right before KJ's ult pops, and then cancel it to catch enemies off guard. Now, the problem with this play in this scenario is actually two things. The first thing is, I actually watched you ult, which means I'm ready for you to cancel it, and two, even if I didn't watch you ult, you still mistimed it, and then still got detained. Might I suggest watching my How To Omen video, which will make you a better Omen player and just a better player in general, because I don't even want to rewatch what you just did. Just remember, never listen to your teammates' comms. B -b 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 <laughs> awesome. Well, we have another example of the fake flash, and I'm not gonna lie, this was not how it was supposed to go. But anyway, now it's time for the greatest op NA to take the stage. Well, what I meant to say was it's time for the greatest classic NA to take the stage. The op was just a warning shot. Sneaking behind enemies is a great way to secure kills, since trying to use your abilities to do so is like trying to understand why people still support the Mets. Now, let's pretend the Valorant agents are like the blue lock characters for one second. You have your cool as fuck agents like Sova, Omen, Clove, Jet, Yoru, who can be compared to the raw as fuck blue lock characters like Isiki, Baru, Rin, Kunigami, Nagi, and Bachira. N not you, right? Anyway. My point is that Killjoy is lame as fuck, but she needs to be like Naruhara, whose special ability is getting in behind defenses. Now, he's lame as fuck, and he still ends up losing, but uh, you get my point. We now must become the bait. Become the master of it, even. But what should we call this skill? Hmm, let's think. How about the master baiter? Yes, that sounds perfect. 
We bait the enemies in with some classic shots for setting up the perfect position to get two kills, which is well worth it. Man, what kind of Looney Tunes uh, kill is this? I always gotta have one of these weird ass kills. Like, I don't even know how I end up in this situation. See, even though this ult may not wind up getting us the kills, it perfectly sets up our teammate to allow them to be able to pick them up easily for the distraction. And that's what I call master baiting. 5v1 is just where we wanna be. Well, we may lose this, but damn, that dude behind us is ass at this game. How do you miss every single shot that I'm not even looking at you? All right, time for another one of my fantastic ults. Well, so much for that. And man, what in the blue lock run is that? You know, even though our ult didn't actually pop, I would say it's still a pretty good ult. Because it forced that cliff to run away from us, it allowed us to kill them basically for free, which opened up the site, meaning this is a pretty good ult overall. Now, this is a perfect example of what the alarm bot can do. Only a few classic shots will kill, but still can't make up for shitty aim. And here it is, ladies and gentlemen. The point of the video, we ignore the fact that I just died and focus on my girlfriend's whiffs. And holy shit, is this a good one. With all four enemies blind, she chooses to shoot none of them? Tens, is that you? Anyways, we have the absolute perfect situation. Now it's down to a 1v1. That's what exactly what we want. Put our alarm button down and even though they shoot it, it really doesn't matter. We can just toy with them because I'm literally hitting the witty, and that's all that really matters. We're just toying with them. So once they jump down and we choke yet another clip. Biz and bodies, my ranked teammates. This is why I still can't rank up. Well, I appreciate the donation of this Ares. I will do great things with it. Like killing the entire enemy team with just one gun. We interrupt this program for an important news announcement. I have just been informed that hit YouTube channel Danny's Inferno has posted a new video that is all about Valorant. Legend says that I, Toast One Easy, also make an appearance in said video. So I would highly recommend going to check that out and also subscribing to their channel. The link to their channel will of course be in the description. So right now, back to video. Well, as I said before, slipping past the defense is the goal of Killjoy. And as you can see, this is exactly what we do. And we do it perfectly. We are just wiping off the enemy team. And before you know it, I have my fourth. And then eventually, after this guy decides to swing me, for whatever reason, we manage to pick up an ace. Where is Ray's looking? I gotta admit, I initially wasn't a big fan of the Outlaw when it was first announced, but it's been growing on me. The fact that I can, be, I mean, trade my teammates with one bullet guaranteed is just too good of an offer to pass up. As you can see, this is the perfect example of trading my teammates. Not baiting, not baiting, no, 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 trading. And you might say, how are you the last alive every single round? And to that I say, round secured. Anyway, using all of your util to swing off of on defense is key to winning. It's also super helpful when they all have pistols, but um, you get the point. It, that's not really what we're trying to focus on here, so we can just ignore that. And kind of in the same situation, now our Molly actually helped us secure this kill, which is pretty great, I have to admit. Gotta get like, one clip at least. And I hate the Odin more than just about anything else in this world, but man, is this gun fun. This has to be what it felt like when Eve ate that apple in the Garden of Eden. It makes me feel like an inferior person, but holy shit, does this gun just shred through enemies like paper. I kind of feel like a bad person doing this, but at the same time, I like winning, so I'll take the trade off. Comboing this gun with our ult makes for one hell of a combo. Due to the fact that our ult will eventually force the enemy team to run away from us, and this gun will absolutely eviscerate anyone within a fraction of a second, makes this duo kind of scary to play against. You know, I feel like if you listen to this video with your eyes closed without knowing it's about Valorant, I could probably get 15 to 20 years in prison, so um, maybe I'll uh, turn it down a little. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, of course I'm not. This gun absolutely kills anyone in your way. If you're looking to kill someone, this gun is the one to use. You heard me. If you want to kill a person, use this gun. In game, of course, in game. Okay, okay, this is it. No more using the Odin. This is the last clip we're gonna use it for. Or how about just one more time? I just wanna feel this gun. Oh my God kill someone one more time. Okay, this is it. Now they can swap to a Vandal and get back on track. So you guys may think that I'm absolutely screwed in this round, but I don't think so since they're fighting me in 1v1s. Now, all we have to do is kill all of them and this race shoots the other teammate. So that's perfect for me after a bit trading. Now, all we have to do is defuse and hope they don't turn me into Stevie Wonder. This song's kind of gas though, not gonna lie. I'm the greatest Guardian player ever, and now that we kill this Reyna, it's time to kill this Breach. Sheriff fucking legend. Now that we got this kill, we can push back, and then what the actual fuck is this Gecko doing? 
This has to be a hidden technique. I need to learn this. This will definitely be included in the gecko video that I eventually make if I don't actually forget what the fuck I just watched. One more fake flash and boom! We miss every shot and our teammate saves the day! Well, now that we're 10 minutes through, I think it's about time I actually show you how to stall pushes. And it's done by, um, pressing C and activate your molly. Yeah, that's it. Time to spray all the bolts on my gun just to kill one person. So, awesome. Well, now it's time to retake with Killjoy. And we have all of our util, so what should we do? Obviously, we don't use any of it and try to retake sight with just our guns. So, now it's time to push and then defuse. We eventually defuse after gridding around the bomb, and after all that, we win the round. And so, what did we learn from all of this? Killjoy isn't fun, and none of your utils is enjoyable, and it's clunky to use, and why the fuck did I make this video?